So I'm, I'm Ruth Wild. Uh, I happen to be the head of strings uh, and guitars at Art Forms. Uh, it's a music service uh, within Leeds City Council. Uh, I have an interest in classical music and folk music, and uh, I run the uh, Roots Alive group, which is our youth uh, music folk group in Leeds. Um, and uh, it's a, a privilege to do because it's a fantastic group and really enjoyable, some lovely young people to work with. In 2013, Roots Alive go to South Africa. Leeds and Durban are twin cities. We've got close links. We're taking this astonishingly brilliant group of young musicians, 6,000 miles across the world, to play, to learn, to share their music with children in township schools in, in, the, in the brilliant city of Durban. It's very remarkable the uh, contrast between the wealthy and the poor. Uh, and if you see it in your own eyes, you don't, you don't actually realise until you've seen it in your own eyes actually how, how bad the situation is and how, what dreadful conditions there are in the townships. And uh, it just makes you want to do something for those people uh, and, and music is something that we can do for them, so, something for the children. South Africa is a wonderful country. It's beautiful, it's got fantastic landscapes, it's got great people. It also has one of the greatest differences between those who have and those who haven't of anywhere in the world. Whilst there is great wealth, there's also poverty of a kind you really don't see in Europe or in Britain. And the schools where the poor children are, there's a huge hunger for learning. They're brilliant places, but the resources just aren't there. Um, I'm Emma and I play the flute. I'm Cindy and I play the violin. I'm Ruth and I play the tin whistle and the clarinet. I'm Sunil Popley and I play the guitar and the cajon. My name is Aaron and I play the viola. My name is Roshni Popley and I play the double bass. Hi, I'm Emily and I play accordion. I'm Matilda and I play the violin. Uh, I'm Emma and I play violin. Music is the most extraordinary way of communicating. Music really takes up where words stop. If we could say what we mean, we wouldn't need to listen to music. And clearly, nearly everybody does, whether they're in South Africa, whether they're in Leeds. So listening to music is a great thing. Playing and singing music makes us communicators on a deeper level. But to share that music across cultures, across continents, is a level of communication which is far deeper than just talking about things. It forms a friendship bond which goes beyond language. And that's really what we, what we want to offer to the children of South Africa and the young people of Leeds. It's, it's an amazing opportunity to be able to go to South Africa to see the different cultures and especially in, a, in an environment where we'll be able to see people on, a day, on their everyday basis instead of just as a tourist. We're going to South Africa because we want to try and exchange musical ideas between our culture and the South African children's culture because it's quite different with the styles of music that they play and what we do. Share our cultures and ex get experience about how different people use music in different ways. We're going to be playing in uh, two primary schools in the townships. Uh, we're going to be doing a singing project in one of the schools and in the other we're going to be doing an instrumental project. Um, well we're hoping to do Kayleys and concerts and things like that and workshops with them and then they'll show us what they can do back. Um, I think it would be really nice to see how the South African African children live and how they experience music because we've seen on some of the videos that they've sent from Beacon Ridge they've been they do lots of singing and dancing and I think we can hope to learn something from them and bring back some South African music with us. We get to go to Africa, we get to play music, we get to meet new people, we get to see new things. We're taking instruments and leaving them there, so the schools which are so ill-equipped will be better equipped. They'll be able to do more music. We're taking ideas, we're taking tunes, we're taking songs, we're taking dances, we're taking all sorts of cultural knowledge with us, and we're learning while we're there. We're forming exchanges.
We need as much money as we can really so for, for the equipment that I've mentioned. There's also a website which is easyfundraising.org.uk which is a search engine and when you, if you type in Roots Alive then every time you search for something then it donates half a penny to our cause, our charity, which is really good for us because it, it doesn't take any effort, it's just the same as using Google. We've played quite a few Kayleys that have raised quite a lot of money and we're going to, we're, in the future we're going to do a sponsored walk to raise money for it as well. We went busking, we went busking in Whitby um, over Goth weekend and that was really fun because we raised quite a lot of money doing that. The ways to get in touch with me are my email address which is ruth.wild without an e at leeds.gov.uk Well it would be really good if people could donate and then we've done loads of other stuff like bun sales and we did a car boot sale last year getting up at four o'clock in the morning to go and sit in a field which is quite horrible but it raised quite a lot of money and then we've done a book sale and loads of Kayleys and gigs that raised quite a lot of money. So we are raising money. The young people have been extraordinary so far in the short time they've been raising, they've already raised over £4,000, which is brilliant because it's their efforts. We would like to raise more. We're raising by doing gigs, we're doing Kayleys, we're doing cake baking, we're doing busking, we're doing book sales, we're doing everything we can think of to, to get those vital resources in. If anyone would like to take part, either by booking the band or just making a donation, there will be an email and contact details as part of this video. There's a lot of poverty in a lot of the areas there um, and a big development gap between the rich people and the poor people and we hope to, to take some, some of what we have to them um, to, give some, to give something to people who might not have the same advantages of, that we have. Well, I really want to like, experience the culture because you, hear, you don't really hear much about African music as such on like in the media and, st and stuff you hear uh, some of it but I'd love to hear it like first hand and be there to experience it. Just playing together as a group with them and like making different music together. Showing them how to play the instruments and hopefully if they can keep in contact with us and tell them how they tell us how they're doing and what they've done and what ideas they have, it would be really nice to keep the link and do something possibly in the future again. Because what we're hoping to do is, is have some sort of equipment at either end, at the, at the Durban School and, and here, that we can um, uh, put onto the internet um, ways of, that the children can still learn, so uh, basic finger patterns perhaps on the ukulele or, and finger patterns on, on the whistle. Uh, so it's not just a question of leaving the instruments there, there'll be a legacy of hopefully they could, they'll be able to keep on learning how to use the instruments and accompanying themselves. Mm -hmm.